Welcome, fellow detectives, to Boiler Room Detective. This case is the case of the backward flow. Our customer called for a no-heat service call to a building they recently purchased. This was our first time there. The heating plant consisted of two hydronic boilers with four zones. The system was piped using a primary and secondary loop. The primary loop to the system was cold, but the boilers were at set point. 180 degrees. The other odd thing my son John and I noticed was the return pipes to each boiler were hot and the supply pipes cold. Each boiler had a circulator mounted on the supply pipe. My cell has a, the Danfoss magnetic tool app that lets me know if the circulators are running. Holding my cell phone next to each circulator, I saw each was powered and felt the motor was warm. Holding a screwdriver to the circulator of a loot, I heard the pump impeller running. Why was the supply pipe from each boiler cold, I wondered. We verified the pumps were installed with the correct flow direction and knew the circulators were working, but the supply still had no heat. We figured it had to be something in common with both boilers. The previous owner stuck her head inside the boiler room and told us the system worked perfectly since it was installed six years earlier. Something didn't seem right, and I began to wonder if this system worked as perfectly as the owner suggested. What made me think this? Well, a couple of reasons. The first was the patches of tape on the copper tubing. When using an infrared temperature gun on copper tubing, the thermometer will not get an accurate temperature reading due to the emissivity of the copper. To get a proper reading, Tex will place tape on the tubing. The other red flag was someone removed the pipe insulation and wrote arrows on the tubing with a Sharpie marker to show the flow direction. This system had caused some problems in the past. Since we could hear the boiler circulators running, we turned our attention to the common piping. The vertical pipes from each boiler were piped into a horizontal pipe and then dropped down into the primary loop connection. It was an ideal place for an air pocket as the pipes rose and dropped on and there was no air vent on the piping. Our solution was to install an air vent in the supply piping, thinking it was air bond. We also heard air inside the piping of the primary loop and noticed the main vent for air was not working. We decided to replace that as well. While at the wholesale house, John asked, think we should get a pump just in case? I agreed, and Reed, the counterperson, said, I would remove the check valve. They always get stuck. That resonated with me. After installing the vents, we were still having the same issue. Let's replace one of the circulators, I suggested, and John agreed. We pulled out the old circulator and installed a new one. After filling and starting the system, the boiler with the new circulator worked perfect. The supply piping was hot and the return was cool. Picking up the old circulator, I pushed on the check valve with my screwdriver and it wouldn't move. We planned to replace the other circulator after the holiday weekend. I never thought both check valves would be stuck closed. Thanks, Reed. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have two websites. Brewingwithsteam.com has my monthly blog posts on steam systems for breweries, and Fire Ice Heat is my company website. I have written 11 books on boilers, and they are available on Amazon. In addition, you can find some of my writings in these fine publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I hope to see you on the next case.